A tiny piece of space debris just triggered one of the most surprising moments in China's human spaceflight history. Moments before returning home, the Shenzhou 20 crew discovered cracks in their capsule's window, leaving them unexpectedly stranded on Tiangong. What followed next was fast, precise, and flawless. Emergency plan activated, and it worked. China returned the crew using a different spacecraft. Here's the full story behind this unprecedented rescue. When Shenzhou 20 launched on April 24, 2025, everything suggested this mission would follow the smooth, predictable pattern China's Tiangong program had become known for. Commander Chen Dong, experienced and respected, led astronauts Wang Jie and Chen Zhongrui on a mission packed with scientific goals, maintenance tasks, and external upgrades. Their time aboard the Tiangong space station would eventually stretch to 204 days, setting a new national record for the longest continuous stay in orbit by a single Chinese crew. Their responsibilities were diverse. Inside Tiangong, they carried out physics and microgravity research, biological experiments, and Earth observation work. Outside, they completed four spacewalks, installing new debris shielding and equipment upgrades to help protect the station from the very dangers that would later disrupt their own return home. This combination of research and station maintenance made the mission one of the most active in Tiangong's history. By early November, the crew was preparing for a smooth return. The next rotation team aboard Shenzhou 21 had launched on October 31st, docked successfully, and begun the routine handover. A period when both spacecraft remain attached to Tiangong to ensure safe crew transitions. Everything appeared perfectly synchronized for the Shenzhou 20 crew to depart on November 5th. But then, a change no one expected appeared during a routine inspection. Engineers reviewing the Shenzhou 20 return capsule discovered tiny cracks in the spacecraft's viewport window. Though small, the cracks indicated an impact from space debris, which travels at speeds exceeding 28,000 km per hour. According to the China Man Space Agency CMSA, the capsule no longer met safety requirements for a human landing. The mission's nature transformed instantly. A seemingly minor impact had created a major problem. The crew could not safely return using their own spacecraft. Emergency plan activated, and it worked. China returns Tiangong crew. China had a clear protocol for this situation, and it was about to be tested in real time. Once CMSA confirmed Shenzhou 20 was unsafe for re-entry, mission control needed a rapid, reliable, and safe solution. Fortunately, the backup spacecraft, Shenzhou 21, freshly arrived with the next crew, was fully available. It wasn't meant for an immediate return, but its systems were still new, fully stocked, and structurally ideal for a landing. Before approving the emergency return, CMSA performed a complete technical review. Engineers inspected the spacecraft's life support systems, flight computer, thermal protection, descent engines, fuel reserves, and interior structural components. Every test confirmed one thing. Despite being intended to stay docked for six months, Shenzhou 21 was in perfect condition for a fast turnaround landing. There was only one major complication. Removing Shenzhou 21 would leave the new Shenzhou 21 crew on the station without their return vehicle, a situation no space agency takes lightly. Still, current safety rules prioritize getting astronauts home safely when their designated capsule cannot be used. With that, CMSA authorized the emergency plan. At 10.14 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 3.14 GMT, on November 13th, the Shenzhou 20 astronauts boarded Shenzhou 21, sealed the hatch, and prepared for undocking. The spacecraft separated smoothly from Tiangong, drifted away, and performed the deorbit burn that would guide it back into Earth's atmosphere. Space.com added key details. The capsule's return was textbook, re-entry, parachute deployment, and final descent followed each other with flawless precision. The spacecraft touched down at the Dongfeng landing site in Inner Mongolia a little before 3.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8.45 GMT, for 40 p.m. Beijing time. State media from CCTV and Xinhua reported that the astronauts appeared in good physical condition after landing, smiling and waving as they exited the capsule. 
Commander Chin Dong said the mission was a valuable experience and that he was proud of the team's performance. A dangerous problem created by a tiny piece of debris had been resolved with a calm and coordinated emergency operation. The rescue demonstrated the importance of redundancy, planning, and rapid response in modern human spaceflight. But while the Shinjo-20 crew was safely home, the situation around Tiangong was far from over. While Shinjo-21 successfully brought the Shinjo-20 astronauts back, its departure created an unusual situation aboard Tiangong. The newly arrived Shinjo-21 crew, who were supposed to stay for six months, now had no return capsule docked, something rarely seen in modern space operations. Return spacecraft are not just for scheduled departures. They act as an essential safety lifeline. If the station experiences an internal emergency, such as pressure loss, a system malfunction, or a fire, Astronauts must be able to evacuate immediately. This is why space agencies like NASA, Roscosmos, and CMSA ensure a return capsule is always available. CMSA immediately activated the next phase of its emergency protocol, preparing an uncrewed Shinjo-22 spacecraft. It will launch at an appropriate time to restore full return capability for the station's residents. Until then, the Tiangong crew continues operations with heightened caution. Daily schedules for the current astronauts have been adjusted to minimize unnecessary risk. High-complexity tasks, system reconfigurations, or any mission activities that could introduce additional stress on the station may be delayed until Shinjo-22 arrives. Spacewalks, which Shinjo-20 conducted four times, are typically paused during periods without a docked return spacecraft. Despite the limitation, Tiangong remains fully operational. Life support systems, atmospheric regulation, and power distribution continue functioning normally. CMSA reports that all station systems are behaving within expected parameters, and the astronauts remain in constant communication with mission control. This situation highlights something important. Even small space debris impacts can trigger complex logistical effects, demonstrating how interconnected every part of a space mission truly is. Although Tiangong is safe, the temporary absence of a return capsule underscores the importance of redundancy in long-duration human spaceflight. Just as the emergency return was executed perfectly, launching Shinjo-22 will complete the final step of restoring normal operations aboard the station. The Shinjo-20 incident is a reminder that space remains an environment where even the smallest objects can create major challenges. A tiny debris fragment, almost invisible to sensors, delayed a return mission, activated a real-time emergency plan, and required a completely different spacecraft to bring a crew home. Yet, China's response showed how preparation, redundancy, and operational discipline can turn a potential crisis into a successful mission. As Tiangong awaits the arrival of Shinjo-22, the world is watching closely. The incident highlights both the strengths of modern space operations and the increasing need for global cooperation to manage orbital debris, a challenge that affects every nation reaching for the stars. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.